Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle. And in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet this motorcycle. This motorcycle has wheels with fender, fuel tank, engine, seat, exhaust, handlebar, and headlight and tail light. This is a perfect scrap yarn project and would make lovely gifts. Even though this pattern has the basic crochet stitches, I would rate the difficulty as intermediate. I hope you would crochet this along with me. This project measures roughly about 6 inches long. Gauge is not a critical factor for this project. To crochet the motorcycle, I'm using worsted weight yarn in four colors here. White, orange, gray and black. This is 100% acrylic yarn. I'm using a 4.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and some polyfill stuffing. You can choose any yarn to crochet this project, but make sure to go around one or two hook sizes from the recommendation. The details are in the description box below. Now let's start our project by crocheting the wheels with fender first. For that, I'm starting with a gray yarn here. For round one, I will start off with a magic circle and do eight single crochet inside the ring. If you do not prefer to work with a magic circle, you can always do chain two and work your eight single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Now let me show you how to do a magic circle. To do a magic circle, I'm going to take my yarn and wrap it around my two fingers like this. And I'm going to pinch at the point where both the yarn meets. Next, I will carefully take my fingers out, insert my hook inside this little ring, yarn over and bring a loop. Next, I'll carefully take my fingers out and hold everything in place and make sure the loop on the hook has a nice tension, not too loose and not too tight. And then I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So there we have made our magic circle. This ring is adjustable. Now let's work eight single crochet inside this ring. To do a single crochet, I'll be inserting my hook inside this ring, yarn over and bring a loop. So now I'll have two loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through both the loops. So this is one single crochet. I'll do seven more single crochets inside this ring. For the pattern of the wheel, we'll be working in rounds. So once when we have eight single crochet, I'm going to hold the tail and pull it tight. See how the magic circle is getting closed. So when you pull it, the ring closes and there we have done our round one. So now to complete this round, I'm going to join in my very first single crochet that we did here with a slip stitch. To do so, I'll be inserting my hook in the first single crochet. Next, I'm going to yarn over and bring a loop through the stitch and through the loop on the hook. So there we have completed round one. Now let's work on round two. For round two, I will start off with chain one. To do a chain, I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. So this is first chain. This chain is not to be counted as a stitch. Now in every stitch around, I'll be working two single crochet in each stitch. You can also use a stitch marker to help you mark either the first stitch or the last stitch in each round. I'm using a stitch marker here to mark the last stitch of the previous round. So now let me start working on round two. So in my next stitch, I will be doing two single crochet in the same stitch. So there's one single crochet and there's the second single crochet in the seam stitch. So I'll be repeating it for the remaining seven stitches over here.
by using stitch marker we can easily identify the last stitch in the round so that we do not have to count the total number of stitches we can just work our pattern in the round till we are at the last stitch so there i have completed two single crochet in every stitch and this round will have a total of 16 stitches at the end of the round i'm going to join with a slip stitch in my first single crochet over here or the next stitch remember we did a chain one here so please skip the chain one and do a slip stitch in the next stitch that is the single crochet so once when you do a slip stitch we can finish it off over here or you can simply change the yarn to black color i'll show you how to finish it off over here to finish it off i'm going to trim the yarn over here next i'm gonna yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook all the way through and tighten this up so there we have completed two rounds for the wheels now let's work on the third round in black yarn so i'll take my black yarn and i will attach it to any of the stitch in the round so i'm going to attach it over here to do so i'm simply going to hold the black yarn behind my project i'll be inserting my hook inside the stitch next i will yarn over and pull through and i'll bring a loop to this side and i will yarn over and pull through the loop so there we have joined our black yarn now let's work on round three so here i will do a chain two first this chain two does not count as a stitch so now in the same stitch over here i will do two half double crochet in the same stitch to do a half double crochet i'll yarn over insert my hook inside the stitch yarn over and bring up a loop so now we have a total of three loops on the hook i'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once so this stitch is called as the half double crochet so i've made one half double crochet here now i will do one more half double crochet in the same stitch so now in my next stitch i will do one half double crochet so this is the pattern that i'll be repeating for the round the repeat pattern is two half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one half double crochet in the next stitch so i'll be repeating this pattern for all the stitches in this round Round 3 will have a total of 24 half double crochet. After completing the repeat pattern, I'm going to join in top of this half double crochet with a slip stitch and we can finish it off over here. Make sure to leave a long tail over here. We'll be using this tail to sew the wheels together. Now let's start working on the fender. For that I'm going to take my orange yarn. I'll be joining this yarn to the next stitch over here. That is the stitch after our slip stitch. So I'm going to use the same method to join. And then I would do chain 2 here. This chain 2 counts as a half double crochet for the fender. So now in the same stitch I will do one half double crochet. And in the next two stitches, I'll be doing one half double crochet each. Now let's work on the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern would be two half double crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one half double crochet in the next two stitches. Thank you. 
I'll repeat this pattern one more time over here. Round four will have a total of 12 half double crochet. So after completing the repeat pattern, I'm going to finish off over here leaving a long tail. We'll be using this tail to sew the fender piece together. So make sure it is long enough. So there we have completed our wheels with a fender. Make sure to crochet three more such pieces. I'll show you how to assemble them into two wheels. Now let me show you how to assemble a single wheel. To do so, we would need two of these pieces. So first, I'm going to take the piece and hold the wrong sides together. So make sure the fender is aligned with the fender and the black tire portion is aligned with the tire portion. So now, once when you do so, you can thread the long tail in a yarn needle and we can begin sewing the black portion together. While sewing it up, I'll be using only the back loops of both the pieces. So this is the back loop of the piece. So we have a V-shaped stitch here. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. So I'll be inserting my needle inside the back loop and I'll be inserting it inside the back loop for this piece. That is the stitch near the wrong side. And I'll be sewing it like this. So once when we finish sewing the black portion together, you can secure it with a knot. Do not worry about the tails in the wrong side. Those would be inside our project and we do not need to weave it in. Once when we have sewed the black portion together, we can weave in the tail. To weave in the tail, I'm going to simply insert my needle next to the point over here and pull it out in a random spot. And we can take our needle out. You do not have to pull it tight. Just make sure to stretch out the piece so that the project does not lose its shape. The next step would be to add some polyfill stuffing inside here. Make sure to stuff it very lightly. Next step would be to sew the orange fender portion together. While sewing it up, make sure to sew the sides together as well and then the top. So there we have completed one wheel with fender. Make sure to crochet the other piece as well. Now let us crochet the fuel tank and the engine. First we'll be crocheting the fuel tank portion. So I'm taking my orange yarn here. For round one I will do a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside the ring. For this pattern, we'll be crocheting in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. So here I will be marking my last stitch in the round with a stitch marker. Now let's crochet round two. For round two, I will do three single crochet in the next stitch. So there's one, two, And three so three single crochet worked in the same stitch so now we'll have five more stitches in here in each of the stitch I will do one single crochet so round two will have a total of eight single crochet Now let's work on round 3. For round 3 in my next stitch I will do 3 single crochet in the same stitch. 
So there's one, two, and three. In my next stitch, I will do one single crochet. In my next stitch, I will do three single crochet in the same stitch. Now we'll have five more stitches remaining in the round. I will do one single crochet in each of the five stitches. Round three will have a total of 12 single crochet. For round four, I will do one single crochet in the next three stitches. Followed by three single crochet in my next stitch. And there will be eight more stitches in this round. I will do one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Round four will have a total of 14 single crochet. For round 5, I will do 2 single crochet in my next stitch. 1 single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Two single crochet in the next 2 stitches. So here I will do 2 single crochet in 1 stitch. And 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches. Two single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll have four more stitches remaining here. One single crochet in the next four stitches. This round will have a total of 18 stitches. Now for the next round, we'll be following the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern would be two single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches. So this will be the repeat pattern for the round. I'll be repeating the pattern till the end of the stitch marker over here. The repeat pattern is two single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches this round will have a total of 24 single crochet For the last round in the fuel tank which is round seven i'll be crocheting one single crochet in every stitch around this round will also have a total of 24 single crochet
let us continue working on our engine portion of the project. This portion is to be crocheted in black, so we are changing the yarn to black color over here. You can also join with a slip stitch finish of orange yarn and attach a new black yarn, or you can simply change the yarn to black over here. To change the yarn, I will do my last stitch like how I would normally do, but instead of finishing the last stitch with the orange yarn, I will complete the stitch with the next color yarn that is black. So I'll hold my black yarn here. I will finish the stitch with a new color yarn. Now we can finish off orange yarn here and continue working on our project. This would be round 8. For round 8 also I'll be doing one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will also have a total of 24 single crochet. For round 9, I'll be following the same pattern as round 8, that is one single crochet in every stitch around. Round 9 will also have a total of 24 single crochet. I'll meet you after I complete round 9. For round 10, we'll be following the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern will be a single crochet decrease. To do a single crochet decrease, I will insert my hook in the same stitch yarn over and bring up a loop instead of finishing this single crochet i will insert my hook in the next stitch i will yarn over and bring up a loop so now i have a total of three loops i will yarn over and pull through all three loops at once so this stitch is called as a single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease we are taking up two stitches from the previous round and completing it as one stitch followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches So I'll be repeating this pattern for all the stitches in the round and this round will have a total of 18 stitches. For round 11, I would do the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern for this round is a single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches. I'll be repeating this pattern for the round and this round will have a total of 15 stitches. So now for the next round, that is round 12, I will do one single crochet in every stitch around. This round will have a total of 15 stitches. I'll meet you after I complete round 12. For round 13, we'll be following the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern is a single crochet decrease or a single crochet two together, followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches. I'll repeat this pattern two more times for this round. And this round will have a total of 12 stitches.
So at this point, we can pause the project and stuff this up with some polyfill stuffing. Now let us crochet the last round over here. For this round also, I'll be following the repeat pattern. The repeat pattern would be a single crochet, two together or a single crochet decrease, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. So I'll be repeating this pattern and this round will have a total of eight stitches. After completing this round, I'm going to join with a slip stitch in my next stitch and finish off over here. The next step is to close this opening. Now let's see how to close the opening. To close the opening, I'm going to thread the long tail in a yarn needle. Next, I'm going to insert this needle in the front loops of all the stitches remaining in the last round. Once when you do so, you can pull tight. See how the opening is getting closed. You can secure it with a knot over here. So this is the fuel tank with the engine. The orange portion is the fuel tank and the black portion is the engine. The portion with a pointed side is to be in the front of the motorcycle and this flat side is to be at the back of the motorcycle. Now let us crochet the forks. I'm taking my gray on here. I leave a long tail and then I would do a slip knot followed by chain 10. So once when we have completed 10 chains, you can finish it off leaving a tail. Make sure to crochet two pieces. Now let us crochet the seat. I'm taking my black yarn over here. I'll do a slip knot followed by chain 5. So now in my second chain from the hook, this is the first chain and this is the second chain. Here I will do two single crochet in the same stitch. And in the next two chains, I'll be doing one single crochet each. Now we'll be at the last chain over here. In this chain, I will do three single crochet. So now our work would have turned over by itself and now we'll be working on the other side of the chains. So in my next two stitches, I will do one single crochet each. And in my very first stitch over here, where we did a two single crochet, I will do one single crochet. So this is our round one. This round one will have a total of 10 single crochet. I'm going to use a stitch marker to mark the last stitch in this round. Now for the next 9 rounds, that is from round 2 to round 10, we'll be following the same pattern. The pattern is 1 single crochet in every stitch around. So we'll be working in rounds. So this is round two. I'll be repeating this round two pattern till I reach round 10 and I will meet you at the end of round 10. After crocheting round 10, join with a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. We will use this tail to sew the seat. So make sure the tail is long enough. The next step is to stuff this with some polyfill stuffing. We need not close the opening. So this is the seat for our project. Now let us crochet the handlebar. I'm taking my gray on here. For round one, I will do a magic circle followed by five single crochet inside this ring. For the pattern of the handlebar, we'll be crocheting in rounds and I'm not going to join at the end of each round unless I mention it. 
after completing five single crochet pull the tail tight to close the opening and we can directly begin working our rounds two for the next 11 rounds that is round 2 to 12 i'll be following the same pattern the pattern would be one single crochet in every stitch around each round would have a total of five single crochet so once when you start crocheting it'll go round and round in a spiral so instead of counting the rounds you can also simply crochet 55 single crochet in the round and meet me at the end of round 12. Once when you crochet round two, your project will be like this. You can flip it over and then continue working. I'll meet you after I complete round 12. After crocheting 12 rounds, our handlebar looks like this. Now I will do a slip stitch in my next stitch. And finish off over here. You do not need to stuff this handlebar. Make sure to stretch out the piece and then close the opening. Once when you close the opening, secure it with a knot and you can leave the tail. We will use this tail to attach the handlebar onto our project. Now let us crochet the lights. This include the headlight and the tail light. The pattern is same for both these pieces. So first I'm taking my white yarn here. I will do a magic circle followed by eight single crochet inside the ring. This would be my round one. This round has a total of eight single crochet. For the pattern of the lights, we'll be working in rounds. So once when you've completed eight single crochet and closing the ring, join with a slip stitch in the very first stitch over here and finish off white yarn. Now for round two of the lights, I'll be working only on the back loops. So first I'm going to take my gray yarn and I'll join with a slip stitch to any one of the stitch over here. You can simply change the color as well instead of finishing it off. So once when I've joined the stitch, I will do chain one here. This chain one does not count as a stitch. Now I will do one single crochet in every stitch around in the back loop only. So I would do one single crochet in the same stitch in the back loop and one single crochet in every stitch around in the back loop only. After completing eight single crochet, I'm going to join in top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. So this is round two. Round two will also have a total of eight stitches because we worked only in the back loops. We have this beautiful ridge that separates the light from the metal portion in our project. You can also use yellow instead of white for the lights. Now let's work on round three, which is going to be the last round for the pattern of the lights. So I will do chain one. This chain one again is not a stitch and I will do a single crochet decrease first. To do a single crochet decrease, I will insert my hook in the same stitch, yarn over and bring up a loop. Instead of finishing this single crochet, I will insert my hook in the next stitch. I will yarn over and bring up a loop. So now I have a total of three loops on the bottom. We would have worked upon two stitches in the previous round. Now I will yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. So this stitch is called as a single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease. We are taking up two stitches from the previous round and completing it as one stitch. Now in the next two stitches, I'll be working one single crochet each. I'll be repeating this pattern one more time. That is a single crochet decrease. followed by one single crochet in the next 
2 stitches. After completing this round, I will join with a slip stitch in my very first stitch and I will finish off over here leaving a long tail. Once when you have finished this, let's close the opening. If you would prefer, you can also stuff this lightly. I have the yarn tails that is going to be my little stuffing over here because I've left long tail. It, it acts like a little stuffing. this is our light make sure to crochet one more piece now let us crochet the excess for that i'm using a gray yarn here for round one i will do a magic circle followed by six single crochet inside this ring for the pattern of the exhaust we do not need to join at the end of each round unless i mention it and the pattern is worked in rounds after completing six single crochet and closing the magic circle i'm going to mark the last stitch with a stitch marker and continue working on our project so for the next five rounds that is from rounds two to six i'll be following the same pattern the pattern is one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of six single crochet This is the pattern for round two, which I'll be repeating for rounds three, four, five, and six. So I will meet you after I complete round six. For round seven, I will do a single crochet decrease. Followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I will repeat the pattern one more time and round seven will have a total of four stitches. completing this round I'm gonna flatten the piece like this and I will work two single crochet for row eight across both the layers that is I will flatten the piece and do two single crochet across both the layers so at this point the rounds would be turned to rows We do not need to stuff this exhaust. I've just closed the opening here. Now for row 9, I will just turn my work over and I will do a single crochet two together. So next, I will do 12 chains. And I'll finish off over here leaving a very long tail to sew the exhaust onto the project. So this is our exhaust. Now let us see how to assemble our project. So here I have all the completed pieces. Here I have the two wheels, the exhaust, fuel tank and engine, seat, tail light, handlebar, headlight and two forks. Now let me show you the step by step how to sew them up together so first let us take our fuel tank with our engine the fuel tank is on the top and the engine is supposed to be on the bottom and the pointed side will be at the front of our motorcycle so here i'll be taking our seat i'll be threading the long tail in a yarn needle I would position the open end of our seat 
over here around around six and seven of the fuel tank so i'll position it like this make sure it is open and then sew it up I'll meet you after I attach this piece. This is how our project will look after attaching the seat to our fuel tank. The next step is to attach the back wheel to the bottom of our seat like this. So this is how I'll be going to place it. I'll be placing the beginning of our fender over here and I'll be attaching it underneath like this. This is how our project looks after attaching the back wheel to our seat. Now let us attach the front wheel to this side of our engine. So I'll be positioning the back wheel like this. Part of the fender is to be facing the engine. So this is how our project will look after attaching the front wheel with the fender the next step is to attach the handlebar to the top of a fuel tank so i'm taking my handlebar i'll be attaching the center of the handlebar to around round two in the front of a fuel tank like this i will sew it up like this and i will meet you after i attach this piece this is how the project looks after attaching the handlebar. The next step is to attach the exhaust. To attach the exhaust, the front of our motorcycle should be in your right side and we will be attaching the exhaust to this side of our motorcycle. So to attach the exhaust, I will place the exhaust itself on the back wheel and the chain portions should be at the bottom and sides of our engine like this so position it like this and sew it in place so this is how a project looks after attaching the exhaust the next step is to attach the lights so i'll be attaching the headlight to the center of a handlebar over here and the tail light in between the seat and the fender over here I'll meet you after I attach the lights. This is how a project will look after attaching the lights. This is the headlight and this is the tail light. The last step in the assembly is to attach the fork from the center of the front wheel to the center of the handlebar. So we have two forks here. I will take one and attach this point to the center of our front wheel and this point to the center of our handlebar behind the headlights. In the same manner, I will attach the other fork in the other side. I'll meet you after I attach this. This is how the project looks after attaching fork on both the sides of the front wheel. Now the project is complete. I hope you enjoy crocheting this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.